Okay, so let us look at question one. Question one addresses time. So you need to walk into the exam knowing exactly how to calculate time because time also falls under time, distance and speed, which is under maps and plans as well. So let's look at question one. It says to us um, that we have various clocks indicating the time um, that is shown and it's below. So clocks showing time. We've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So these times are both analog and they are digital as well. So this is digital and this is analog. Okay, and when we are working with time that looks like this, it is in a 12 hour format, whereas digital time is in a 24 hour format. So we can see that we have different clocks um, over there as well. So it says here, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. So which one of the following X, Y or Z best describes the time displayed on each clock so we need to go and see so um is it x so x says to us nine minutes to the next hour it can't be yes it's on a on the on the nine the long um, is on a nine but that doesn't mean that it's nine minutes two okay so no definitely that is not the right answer so we are using a process of elimination here and then um, why says 45 minutes to the next hour that is definitely not because if it was 45 minutes to the next hour the long arm would be facing three instead so that's also definitely um, not it as well so we know that by using the process of elimination that is also um, not the answer as well meaning that z is going to be the answer but let's just double check what z says z says a quarter to the next hour most definitely why because this is the same as 15 minutes to the hour so that's 5, 10, 15, so it's 15 minutes to the next hour. Not the same hour, but to the next hour. So Z is the correct answer there. And then 1.1.2 says name the two time formats used to display um, time on the clocks. So I said to you already there, it's digital time. So it's digital and analog okay so it's digital and it's analog it's probably one mark and maybe two marks there in case you're wondering why we've got the three marks sometimes the memo looks like that as well and then it says write down in words the time displayed on clock b so because already we have been given a nice clue there in terms of a quarter to the next hour, let's go and see what B is. So this is B. So it's a quarter to one. Okay. In words, a quarter to one. A quarter To one or you could say 15 minutes Fifteen minutes to one or fifteen minutes to the hour one whatever that you choose to do that those answers are both valid let us look at question 1.1.4 it says write down the number of clocks that clearly indicates the time in the afternoon so it means it needs to show us what is happening in the afternoon so let's go and look at what that looks like so this one is digital and it tells us the time of the day but it's in the morning so we are looking for after 12 o'clock so that's after 12 o'clock and that's after 12 o'clock so it's two clocks that are indicating to us after 12 o'clock Okay, let's look at question 1.1.5. 
convert 16 hours and 15 minutes um, and 45 minutes to minutes. So it means that even though over here I've got hours and I've got minutes, some way, somehow I'm going to be adding them all and they're going to be giving me minutes um, in total. So I need to convert hours to minutes. So I know that one hour has 60 minutes. That's what I know. So I'm moving from known to unknown. I know that one hour has 60 minutes. Therefore, 16 hours is going to give me how many minutes? If I'm using this method, remember, hours need to be under hours and minutes under minutes. Okay, so I'll cross multiply the two that exist with each other and, I cro and then I divide with the one that's facing the x. So it's going to be 16 times 60 divided by 1 and that's going to give me 16 times 60 that's 960 minutes so that's 960 minutes but then I need to remember that out of these 960 minutes I need to remember that I must add my 45 minutes as well because this end uh, represents multiplication I mean addition plus 45 minutes plus 45 minutes and that gives me 1,005 minutes. Okay, that gives me 1,005 minutes. So if I get 1,005 minutes, I write it exactly as it is. So that is question 1.1.5.